Now let's go back to Amanda Faye joining us again live from Wildwood Metro Park's Manor House. Amanda, I, I know how beautiful Manor House is in normal circumstances and at Christmas time. Looks like they gussied it up pretty good for Halloween. Yeah, absolutely. Each room is decorated with a different theme and we're in the dining room right now. A little spooky in here. Shannon Hughes joins me now from Metro Parks Toledo. You designed this room. I did and we've been very excited because um, one of the things that our staff loves is to flex our creative muscle sometimes. Yeah. And so I was very lucky to be able to decorate a couple of rooms through the house <laughs> this year. So what was your inspiration for this? I, I see brains and blood and <laughs> <laughs> um, guts and skeletons and you know all kinds of fun stuff in here. Well it's a morbidly magnificent meal if you will. So one of the fun things about it is um, I brought together all sorts of different creatures to sit around the dining table. So you have zombies and aliens and skeletons. So really it's just a great way to enjoy the holiday season for us here. <laughs> Well, it's quite the family gathering. <laughs> it is. Zombies and <laughs> vampire bats and aliens. That's, yeah, that's quite the clan here. So uh, this is wrapping up, though. Uh, we is. have today, you're open till 8 o'clock today for the we tours. Are. And then Thursday and Friday, people can come out. Yeah, so Thursday and Friday are uh, 2 to 8 p.m. And so we would love for everybody to come out and enjoy this new tradition that we're offering free um, to the community. So we are very excited that we are wrapping up very soon. But we've had uh, great support. And so we're excited to see what happens. This is your second year doing this, and you saw a lot of popularity with this last year. You had to bring it back. People really do love Halloween, don't they? They do, and so what we try to do at Metro Parks is we really listen to what folks want, and so we heard that this was fun, so we did extend the hours. So last year, we only had it for three days. Um, this year, we did an entire week, and to boot, we still do have, if anybody's interested in coming, we still do have our tickets available for our zombie prom, our second annual prom, and that we've also increased the um, output of what we'll be doing so there's going to be a circus there's going to be morbid trivia um, we also have taiko drumming so we have a lot of new offerings so even if people came last year mm -hmm. come out check us out we have our wonderful shirts that will be on sale as well so it's just a fun time for really a bunch of age groups you know there really isn't I haven't seen anything too terribly scary here you know for kids who want to come out I've seen a lot of kids here yes. dressed in costume Absolutely. Is a lot of fun too. <laughs> yeah, so what we're saying is if you do join us for any of our events, come and get in the spirit and dress up like we all are mm -hmm. that are working here. But um, Zombie Prom is a 21 and over, so okay. we wanted to give folks an experience to bring their families out. And so we're not doing jump scares at uh, <laughs> the Erie Manor tours. Right. We're not doing anything really gory or anything um, that's creepy, but the creep factor makes it fun. So we are saying bring the kiddos out to enjoy a family friendly Halloween event. Maybe walk around the metro park as well absolutely the, the weather, weather is it's gorgeous beautiful it's just beautiful and make sure you check out the basement that was a little spooky i went it down is. there a little it is a little, a little creepy. The yeah. other thing is, with the weather being so nice, we do have some outdoor events that are taking place this weekend as well that are um, Halloween themed. However, um, what we always say is check out metroparkstoledo.com mm -hmm. to see if um, your event is still taking place in case okay. of large rainstorms or anything uh, like that. It happens. But the Erie Manor Tours and Zombie Prom is rain or shine and inside. inside. Yeah, it's very good till 8 o'clock tonight. Make sure you come out and then also 2 to 8 tomorrow and Friday. Shannon, thank you so much. Thank you. Reporting live from Wildwood Metro Park, Amanda Faye, WTOL 11.